There are a series of O-rings that seal the trigger valve to the trigger cap. Over time, the O-rings can harden and crack. This will cause air to leak from the trigger valve assembly. Replacing the O-ring is a repair that you can do yourself, and I'm going to show you how. Hi, I'm Mark Soja. Do-it-yourself repairs like these are easier than you might think. From lawn machines to cordless grills, kitchen mixers, outdoor grills, our how-to videos walk you through each repair from start to finish. So doing it yourself means never having to do it alone. Let's get started. I'll begin by removing the trigger from the nail gun. The trigger is secured with a pin and a urethane ring. To remove it, I'll push the pin out with a punch. With the trigger removed, now I can remove the trigger valve. The trigger valve is secured with two roll pins, and again I'll use a punch to remove them. With the roll pins removed, I'll use a pair of needle nose pliers to pull the valve from the housing. With the trigger valve assembly removed from the gun, now I can disassemble it. It's also secured with a couple of roll pins, and I'll use the punch to remove them. They just simply push out. Now I can remove the O-rings from the trigger valve. I'll remove the two O-rings on the stem. And now I can install the new O-rings. I'll apply a small amount of grease to each of the O-rings as I install them. Now I can reassemble the trigger valve. I'll place the stem into the base. Install the spring over the stem. Install the trigger valve and the cap. And then I'll secure everything with the pins. And I'll install the trigger valve assembly back into the gun. I'll align the notches on the sides of the trigger valve with the pinhole locations. and then I'll secure it with the roll pins. Now I can reinstall the trigger assembly. I'll place the spring inside the trigger and align the other end of the spring with the trigger valve. I'll need to compress the spring as I place the trigger valve back into the housing. Once it's in place, I can install the pin. I'll turn the gun over and secure the pin with the urethane ring. And that's how easy it is to install a new O-ring in your nail gun. Be sure to check back often for new videos and expert advice. If you found this video helpful, give us a thumbs up 